YouTubers. Again, new review. It's a winter time here in Canada, so it's time for us to do something for our batteries. That's how the box looks like. Okay, now we're gonna see what's inside. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, ta-da. This is manuals. It's boring, right? But it's nice to have something like if you really want to stop it at any time, you can always go and check it something. So I'm just going to briefly go like this. And at the same time, it should be like if I ever lose a manual. Of course, you can download manuals online today on the internet, everything. But it's nice to have like a easy copy like this. Ah, it's too much stuff, you know. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it's just too much stuff. Okay, let's go with the opening stuff. Maybe we should start first removing this so it's easy to open the box. And it's always like some people say it looks like, but believe me, it's brand new. I hope it's brand new. I hope it's some people say it's easy and, and best rewarding when you buy a new product and you see it's if there is no damage on these things, of course, they're gonna be pressed on and off. So, on this side, of course, you have face of it. And it says what it says. On the back side, you have a chunk, thick chunk of aluminum. Everything is metal, which is really, really good. Has a rubber feet, of course, and this radiator radiates heat out, so it's cooling the whole thing. Plus, you have two additional fans. This is DC input, and this is AC input. And see, 220 or 240. 120 and plus this this is really nice because you want to be able to to use this uh, without unplugging and plugging from the wall so it has one three and two and four it's very 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 nice let's see what's what do we have in, in this area okay here we have uh, XT60, wrong one, XT60, oh that's a 4 banana and that's a 3.5 I think, but oh, that's a charging cable. Uh, I think one of these guys they can go here, I think this one here, yeah, because that's uh, old males, and this is male, this is male, this is female, so that one goes here. And then you can hook it up to the DC power. That's one of the reasons I bought this because this is like a good brand than the power. It's really pricey, but you have one, two, three, four ports with a hundred watts, which is really good. Plus you have Dean's connections, males, females, actually that's the same, and you have the XT61. Of course you have these guys here and the plug cable. We can move this away for now. And these things. As everybody know you can plug it here. Balancing cables. Or balancing board up to six. Lithium polymer or lithium ion or all kind of HV or the life uh, lithium ferrite, ferrite, whatever is correctly. And 
that's it. So that is ready. Only thing, uh, I was wondering because all my other chargers, they are tender power, but they don't have a, they don't have a fans. They use a passive cooling system, but this one has a pad fans, all four of them. So only thing I was wondering, is it making any sound when there is no nothing inside, right? When it's just hooked up to the electricity, is it gonna make any sound? How does it work? So that's why I'm gonna try it out here. First, let's see, this is one, or zero, I don't know which one. On, off. Let's try it out. Okay, it seems to be good. So one, zero is here. So if I press, the, just me check, 110, okay. Okay, very nice. So it's a blue. Program select. Battery type. Lithium ion, all different stuff. Okay, let's try one or a couple of them, I should say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Get out of here. I'm gonna use one of these guys. That's the way how I protect my solar cells. <laughs> oh, I used to. Let's grab one original. So, yeah, I just put one on each so it doesn't connect each other, right? So let's try the channel 3. Why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a tender power. Right. Yes. I'm not really sure. These are GS, GST and these are Thunder Bars. So I need the cables. <laughs> okay, just a second. I bought these guys here. There are 12 gauge. And that's the thing. Have you ever noticed that the red kind of it's a little bit thicker, it looks thicker than the black one. But it says 12H. 12 H. 12 uh, A W A uh, uh, G. So let's turn this one. So it's red to red, black to black. And we're gonna charge this one black here, red one here. Okay, that's a channel three battery type. It's already lipo, so we're gonna go. No. milliamps okay so 3s it's balanced and then we can go uh, 0 1 balance storage or discharge or charge 100 milliamps uh, let's press start battery check confirm enter see that's the thing I don't like so as soon as you start, even if it's only 100 milliamps, it starts this sound, right? So it takes air from here. No. 
and now this is intake and that's out yeah this is definitely stinky air coming out of this so that's what I don't like about this charger <laughs> now I know and I was looking online maybe go on the other side because I'm not gonna be able to see when I was looking online even when people try it they, they always charge on the like high like this one goes up to 10 amps, this one goes up to 10 amps and all of them, right? If you go low, this is only 3 cell battery, so 11, 11, 12 volts. And if you charge like 4 or 5 amps, of course it's going to go up and it's going to be like noisy. But if, even if it's charging only 100 milliamps, which is the minimum charging current, and one port only, in this case 3, it's still goes automatically on so probably it's gonna be on all the time and this is not even warm nothing so there is no reason my old charger uh, the uh, TPC I think uh, ACDC one and it's so silent doesn't make any sound so that's what I don't like already with this charger but everything else must be good see it's all metal there's no absolutely no reason why even this fan is moving, right? And it's pretty noisy, I guess. That's, it is what it is, right? Now we know, if you ever wonder, wonder, what did I do? Oh, I pressed something. Okay. Does it make any sound? Let me check. I did press something, I don't know. So even one or two or more is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Goes this way here. Okay. Uh, let's start this one balancing charge. Polymer start okay balance charging battery check see again now it's charging at higher voltage uh, high amperage no zero one with this one and voltage twelve six so you can check the, the each of the batteries uh, cells. They're very nice and that's about it but it's uh, it's noisy right that's something I don't really like but it is what it is now I know even if you charge only one I'm gonna charge the second one here just to see how this one works and I'm gonna choose a different color current okay now we're going to choose a little bit different color, uh, current. Lithium, okay, let's go back. Lithium polymer. Let's go with the storage, balancing, balance charge. Yeah. We go, okay, 3S, no. 3S, yeah, it is right. This one is 3S2. And then you go up to let's try I don't know let's try 10 and and let's see what happens I know what's gonna happen it automatically it's gonna go oh that's a capacity <laughs> yeah capacity is only uh, 1800 so let's keep to 1800 accidentally I was thinking that's the charging current but that's C its capacity 1800 and then current let's go up to 10 amps which is maximum right current. and then see what's going to 8 amp so 8 amp battery check 
confirm enter and it's charging 8 amp 7 amp and wall switch capacity safety timer temperature cut off uh -huh. external temperature 5 celsius or 32 fahrenheit in power and with this one you can check the each cell which perfectly balanced looked that's good 12.6 volt and 8 amp and also I noticed if you look here there is a 12.70 so it's not 12.701 or something it's not three decimal it's only two decimal points that that charger is a little bit less accurate than the other chargers from the Thunder Power but I guess that's it it is what it is primarily reason I bought this one is to be able to charge my electric scooter because now I have a charger 100, 100 so 10 amps or depending on how voltage how big voltage is 3s yeah I guess 8 amps is if you charge it 7.7 .7 amps 7.6 amp now going but it's a 12 amp and batteries it's at the half capacity I would guess it's only 1800 so you can charge what I did to my electric scooter you can charge every cell uh, lead acid cell individually with one charger eventually I'm gonna put another charger small one and then I'm gonna be able to charge all five batteries in a time period for uh, in a six to eight hours overnight so instead of charging six hours and then six hours and then six hours I'm gonna be able to two charges one four in one quad and the other one to charge five batteries which is 60 volts basically I can charge 96 volts 24 24 24 24 96 volts basically or if I ever upgrade when I upgrade to lithium uh, polymer or lithium ion in my electric scooter I will be able to charge three groups of the batteries 22 2 or 3 6 3 6 and 3 s or 3 6 uh, I mean 1 6 1 6 and 1 6 so success right. okay it is what it is now, see, zero one, it's charging, and that one is 6.3 amp, still charging, and this is not getting, not even warm, right? And of course you can add more batteries, it's gonna handle it. That's good stuff about this, bad stuff about this, if it breaks, then you lose all four ports, instead of having four individual hundred watt ports, charging ports, but hey, you cannot have everything, thanks for watching, have a nice day, bye bye. <laughs>